Все, мы выходим в эфир, коллеги. So, dear friends, uh, you are welcome to the open day of uh, mathematical department of Department of Mathematics and Mechanics of Moscow State University. Uh, my name is Andrei Shafarevich, I am Dean of the department. And uh, uh, today uh, we will tell you about uh, two master programs, uh, which are international uh, English speaking master programs uh, for uh, in our department. Uh, the first one is uh, the program called Geometry and Quantum Fields. Uh, this program is organized uh, uh, jointly by our department and Institute of Theoretical and Mathematical Physics of Moscow State University. And uh, uh, this program is aimed uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the study of uh, the most modern uh, areas of, uh, of mathematics and modern theoretical physics, which are uh, somehow combined together. So uh, in this program, you can see uh, the topics in pure mathematics, uh, such as geometry, topology, and uh, representation theory. Uh, you can see the uh, courses in theoretical physics, uh, which are traditionally just theoretical physics, something like theory of black holes or, uh, uh, or uh, theory of fundamental interactions. And also there are uh, there is a number of uh, interdisciplinary courses, uh, and this uh, sorry, and uh, uh, also there is a number of uh, interdisciplinary courses uh, uh, which include the topics from physics and uh, the topics from mathematics. Uh, for example, there is a course of uh, topological uh, field theories and quantum integrable models, and and so on. Uh, and the, the second program is uh, the program uh, which is uh, called Mathematical Fundamentals of Navigation Systems. Uh, the leader of this program, Professor Andrei Andreevich Golovan, is here and he will speak in details about the, uh, uh, this program and uh, the aims and uh, the details of, of the program itself. So you're welcomed. And uh, now, uh, first, we will speak about the first program, uh, which is called Geometry and Quantum Fields. Uh, you will see the presentation of uh, one of the organizers of this program, Maxim Grigoriev, and uh, uh, comments uh, uh, by Anna Kozina. So you are welcome, please.
and uh, many others. And it turned out from the very early days of the development of the, these areas of physics and mathematics that there, there are close ties between fundamental interactions and uh, geometry. Well, mathematics in general, but geometry first of all. And the standard the kind of canonical example of this relation is the relation between Einstein gravity and the Riemannian and Cartan geometry. Historically, these things were even being developed uh, more or less at the same time, and there was a strong interaction between, between physicists and mathematicians working in these areas. This relation became, became even richer uh, in about in 60 or 70s of pre pre previous century with the development of the uh, of the gauge series which don't, which are the series which describe uh, other fundamental interactions such as strong interaction uh, weak interaction and closely related to it electromagnetic interaction and from geometrical point of view from a mathematical point of view this corresponds to the theory of fiber bundles and connections therein it's actually gauge field geometrically are kind of connections. And it's also closely related to the study of characteristic classes, certain elements of homological algebras and other areas of modern mathematics. And uh, even more, <laughs> even, even richer, uh, this relation became with the development of string theory, which is considered to be a possible candidate also for, the, for a theory of fundamental interactions. Uh, including gravity, and it's at least it's uh, the only reasonable candidate for quantum gravity from a physical point of view. And here, the mathematics is extremely rich. This involves theory of Riemann surfaces, infinite dimensional algebra, scalar geometry, conformal geometry, non commutative geometry, super mathematics, mirror symmetry, etc. This can be a very long list. But uh, the, the interaction also goes the other way around. And uh, so not only tools in mathematics turned out to be useful in, 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 in application in fundamental physics, but also the ideas and methods originating from quantum field theory and theory of fundamental, fundamental interactions have led to new uh, developments in mass. So these ideas and methods turned out to be original because they came from absolutely different sources. So what I said, I hope it justifies the importance of uh, being familiar with both sides of the story, with physics and with mathematics, and this is the main idea of our program. Of course, it's quite a challenging task to put mathematics and physics together within one program, because it makes it quite, quite heavy and extensive, but we believe it is worth the effort. In this program, the students will have a unique and broad indication, obtaining a good starting point for an academic career in both mathematics and physics, but also possibly for a career in more applied areas, including an industry where an ability to think independently and originally uh, is a necessary condition. And as uh, we have already mentioned, this is a joint program. This, this interdisciplinary nature of this program is reflected in the fact that it is organized by two departments, Faculty of Mechanics and Mathematics and Institute for Theoretical and Mathematical Physics. Let me say a few words about the Institute. So it's relatively new. It formally, it was launched uh, in 2018 but uh, started to function even in the 2000, realistically started to function in 2019. And it's a new research center within Lomonosov uh, Moscow State University. It is actively involved in teaching, mostly at master's level, but not only, and both in mathematics and physics. So we, our, our, our staff of the teach in uh, physics department and in mass and in, in, in department of mechanics and mathematics it is quite international uh, our institute most of positions are filled via the open international calls and uh, itmp researchers are involved in teaching and serve as advisors for the diploma projects of our students and uh, we believe that uh, these institutes provide an international, creative, and 
friendly environment, uh, we should be stimulating for uh, future and present master students following this uh, following this uh, master program. And as I already mentioned, our director Arkady Saiten is a very well known theoretical physicist who uh, has some classical results in this area, in the series of fundamental interactions. Uh, now I want to say a few words about the, the structure of the program. Sorry. So the courses of the program could be, could be divided into four groups. So the first group is basic mathematical courses, which provide uh, systematic mathematical education in the areas relevant uh, for the for the program. Uh, these are courses in geometry, Lie algebras and representations, functional analysis, all geometry, theory of PDEs, and elements of homological algebra. The second group contains basic physics courses, which are standard university courses. Again, relevant for the uh, for, for for the direction of our program. This is a, these are courses on quantum field theory, on general relativity, on elements of string theory and superstring sigma models. And the third group contains interdisciplinary courses, or maybe you could call it mathematical physics courses, because they are devoted to areas which are at the same time considered considered as both physics and mathematics and actually these are maybe uh, from the point of view of present developments the most interesting areas we were at, which are at the edge at the edge between mathematics and physics and uh, these courses involve mathematical theory of black holes quantum integrable models topological theory uh, modern approaches to quantization to dimensional conformal theories and super mathematics and the last group is a group of uh, more advanced courses typically elective courses uh, they are devoted to areas of uh, ongoing ongoing research areas where still not everything is fixed and not everything is settled and but at the same time these courses give a good starting point for uh, independent research in the respective in the respective areas and their their teachers teachers of these courses could serve as uh, well all of our teachers could serve as advisors, but uh, 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 this in particular, and first of all, maybe. Okay, and uh, here are uh, some more details about the study plan. So here are uh, exact names of the courses and names of the authors. On this page, we have uh, basic mathematical courses, uh, then basic physics courses, uh, uh, and uh, here is the list of interdisciplinary courses, which I already mentioned. And finally, we have a list of uh, of advanced courses with exact name, with exact uh, names of courses and names of of the of the teachers. Uh, I, I am not going through uh, through each course uh, explicitly because uh, anyway you can find this information and probably it's even better to look for this information on our web page where also abstracts of the courses are present. So I think I am done with uh, a brief uh, brief introduction to the. Uh, to, to the content of this program. So thank you very much for attention. And I stop sharing. So dear friends, now uh, I think uh, Anna Kozina, which is the curator of this program, will say a few words about some details, how to apply to this program and so on. You are welcome. Dear attendees, welcome to the current presentation. You have just heard one of the directors of the program, Maxim Grigoriev, talking about the curricula and study plan. In my short presentation, I will be covering 
um, such issues as the application dates and application methods, as well as um, uh, what documents are required for your application. And there, I'm going to touch a little bit about the funding opportunities available for the students of the program. So I'm going to share my slides. As mentioned by the Dean and Maxim Grigoriev, um, the name of the program Geometry and Quantum Fields and the twofold nature of the program is reflected in the title of the program. So the application process to the program will begin in summer, in end of June, June 20th, July 20th, uh, when the application for all master degree programs of the faculty as well as the Moscow State University will be open. Uh, students are advised to send the application package to the admission office at admission at itmp.msu.ru. Um, here is the address and at my um, slide. I will discuss the contents of the application package at the next slide. Uh, one of the most important things in the application package, we ask the students to submit an abstract by end of the application period, which is July 20th. After all application documents are submitted, selected students will be invited to attend a written examination. And after the successful passing of the examination, students will be invited to attend an online interview, usually conducted via um, Zoom application. So the students do not have to be physically present at, in Moscow in order to uh, go through the final stage of selection. So again, I'd like to reiterate that the application to the program will start very soon, June 20th and we'll proceed for the whole month until July 20th. So here is the list of the documents required for the application package. We ask the students to submit a quite um, customary application package, which includes an application form, which can be downloaded from the official web page of the program. I would like to draw your attention to the address at the bottom of my slide itmp.msu.ru en msc geometry that's the official web page of the program which contains a lot of information about the study plan lectures as well as application process we also ask students to provide a scan of national ids a scan of diplomas and academic transcripts uh, together with the um, notarized translations one motivation letter, a CV, a sort of a collection of your achievements so far. We also, as I've mentioned earlier, ask students to provide an abstract of any research project. It could be a bachelor's degree project, it can be a master's degree project, it can also be a side project. Um, and then we also ask students to ask referees to forward letters to support their a candidacy for the application. There are certain funding opportunities available for the students of a program. Well, um, the Theoretical Physics and Mathematics Advancement Foundation basis um, offers several funding opportunities for the students of the program. I have to mention that a student has to be accepted to the program in order to be granted this funding opportunities. The first opportunity is the scholarship. The aim of the scholarship is to address the national and global demand for the new generation of researchers, academics and educators in the fields of mathematics and physics. The scholarship aims at supporting talented um, and research-oriented students while their studies and allowing them to focus on their work while they are in the Lomonosov Moscow State University. The scholarship includes a monthly stipend and the tuition fee coverage. 
The scholarship is open for candidates from all nationalities and all genders. The condition is A, you have to be accepted to the program and B, have to be appointed by the scholarship committee of the foundation. Uh, the scholarship is a merit-based scholarship, meaning that a student has to provide a strong track record of academic achievements prior to the acceptance of the program. The second op opportunity available for the students of the program is a travel grant program. So all students of the program are eligible to participate in this program that helps uh, talented master and PhD level students to participate in international um, scientific programs and schools. Uh, for example, some of our current students that are studying at the first year of the master program are currently uh, competing for this grant in order to be able to participate in a summer school in Oxford. So the students will be able to apply to the school and apply for the grant and maybe receive an opportunity to travel and being subsidized for their travels. So for those who are um, interested in learning more about the foundation, as well as the opportunities the foundation provides, I invite you to attend the website of the foundation, basisfoundation.ru, where you can find all information about the opportunities the foundation offers. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, if you have some questions, you can write these questions to the translation chat. And uh, now we are turning to the second uh, master program, uh, which is the program in Mathematical Fundamentals of Navigation Systems. And the head of this program, Professor Galavan, is here and he will speak about this program. So you are welcome, Andrei Andreevich. Many thanks. I will, now I'll try to share my screen. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Good. Good day, everyone. Let me introduce to you the master's program entitled Mathematical Fundamentals of Navigation Systems that we have developed at the Faculty of Mechanics and Mathematics or in more details at the Department of Applied Mechanics and Control, the Laboratory of Control and Navigation. In my presentation, I will focus on major issues regarding MASA's program. First of all, why we have created and introduced this program. Navigation in broader sense, is a very popular engineering, mathematical, mechanical specialization. The market for navigation application nowadays is extremely high. There is a high demand for trained specialists in this field. Here, I will clarify that we are talking about IT specialists in the field of inertial and GNSS navigation who are engaged in the relevant data processing for the solution of practical navigation problems posed. By GNSS, I mean GLONASS, GPS, Beidou, Galileo, satellite navigation system. At this point, let me introduce myself. I am Andrei Galavan the program director of this master prog uh, program. At the same time, I am a professor at the Department of Applied Mechanics and Control, and at the same time, the head of the Laboratory of Control and Navigation. Here one can see a few information about me. Certainly, my directions of my research are closely related with mechanics of inertial navigation system, with mechanics of global navigation satellite system, certainly aided or integrated INS GNSS system, 
And here you see one of the practical application in geophysics, so-called airborne strap-down inertial gravimetry. Let me briefly introduce the Laboratory of Control and Navigation that was established in 1987. My colleagues and I, mostly employees of the Control and Navigation Laboratory, form the core of the teaching staff of this program. There are four professors, six PhD in our teaching staff. During these years, the laboratory has been involved in various research and development projects in domain of navigation, marine, airborne, urban, pedestrian, etc. navigation. These projects were done in close cooperation with Russian and foreign instrument making companies, scientific research institutes, and universities. We clear, clearly know what knowledge and skills are needed by the future IT specialist in the field of navigation. Now I'll turn to the bureaucratic issues regarding the master program. I will display slides with some time delay so that you can read everything yourself. This slide concerns duration, calendar, fall semesters of the master program. This slide concerns main lecture courses. Certainly, you one can see here selected topics of pure mathematics, topics on of analysis, linear algebra, and differential equations, certainly uh, topics on theoretical mechanics, and certainly on inertial navigation, satellite navigation, estimation theory, and so on. The second year, uh, the second year of education, uh, the second year of education, you have we will provide specific courses on aided inertial navigation system, alternative methods of estimation, optimal control, and applied navigation problems. The master program culminates in the master's thesis and an oral presentation of the work at the public colloquium. The students will have an opportunity to perform cutting edge research and work on master's thesis under the supervision of world class experts in mathematics and mechanics. Graduates of the master's program mathematical fundamentals of navigation system will be in demand in research and technology departments of companies in the following areas, aerospace industry, space agency, shipbuilding, automotive industry, especially the development of unmanned vehicles, geophysics in domain of airborne inertial gravimetry. And the, and the last one slide, concerns, admission, requirements, deadlines, and documents. At the bottom of this slide, you can see our website. So you can visit this uh, uh, website for details. So you're welcome to join our, to join our master program. And I think that I have finished my presentation at the moment. Many thanks. Thank you so much, Andrei Andreevich. So uh, uh, I have to repeat that if you have some questions here, uh, you can write them uh, to the translation chat. And uh, also you can 
uh, in any case, write to us, uh, to our department, uh, and uh, to the leaders of the programs, and we will immediately uh, answer any your questions. Uh, I think that uh, I think that we have finished because I I see no questions for the moment in the translation chat. So you are welcome to our department and uh, to our master programs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Все, коллеги, трансляция на YouTube.